Hey my friends, it's Deb from Bowl Me Over. Welcome to my kitchen. Happy holidays to you. Happy Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Um, everybody's welcome in my kitchen today. We're gonna have some fun. We're doing a countdown to Christmas and today is day two. Um, Christmas can be stressful, so we're trying to make it easy. We're trying to make it a little fun, a lot of fun, and a little funky. And I'm going to share with you one of my um, favorite little treats. And these are perfect to give as gifts. It is um, great for like teacher's gifts, uh, secret Santas, to tuck into stockings. And it's kind of a silly thing, but everybody loves it. And I'm <laughs> even people my age it's just super cute so what we're gonna make today what our super easy recipe is is snowman soup and I know you're saying snowman soup what is that well it's hot chocolate of course um, so we're gonna put together little packages for our friends and family um, and it's just gonna be adorable I guarantee they're going to love it let me walk you through what you need okay so we're gonna need some cups I use just paper cups, disposable paper cups. And I'm gonna show you these three things first because you, when I did this years and years ago on the blog, you actually had to order everything separately and now it's all together. I'm gonna to put the link below. Um, but paper cups, preferably with a fun little Santa on them. You're gonna need packaging, cellophane packaging is what I use, and little twisty ties. and instructions of course and this is super cute it says when the weather outside is frightful snowman soup can be so delightful just add hot water and slip it slow let it snow let it snow let it snow and this is all done for you those those few things i just showed you that's all done it's a great project to do with the kids the other things that we're going to need are some hot chocolate use your favorite brand I grabbed some peppermints, some um, Hershey's Kiss chocolates, and every chocolate needs a stirring stick, right? So we have some, some candy canes and marshmallows. That's all we're going to need for this project. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is just set out our cups. And I'm just going to do 10 today. And I'm gonna give them as gifts. We're having a um, neighborhood uh, Thanksgiving and we're supposed to bring some sweet and, or salad or whatever. I'm gonna bring a cookie tray and with my cookie tray, <laughs> I'm just gonna add a few things and the snowman soup is gonna be one of them. So now into each cup is gonna go the hot chocolate. So we're just gonna tuck those in there Can you just see how fun this is? It is truly one of my favorites. Don't even have to turn the oven on. That works for me. Okay. Almost done here, just got a couple more. I'm making 10 today. Um, the package, actually, I'm guessing there's like 100 in the package, so there's more than plenty if you do end up getting the box, and it's pretty reasonable. It's like $15 for everything, which I think is crazy. Okay, so to each, box, each um, cup, I'm gonna add some Hershey's Kisses, and that's gonna make that chocolate, oops, I dropped one, even more delicious. We'll put that over here. And you don't have to keep track or do one of each or whatever, it's really, this is just a fun project gift thing. Okay, perfect. I have some extra peppermints. I don't normally include peppermints, but I love peppermint, the combination of peppermint and chocolate, so I'm gonna include that in there. Wonderful. And then last but not least, or no, we have our marshmallows. We have to have marshmallows. And I add, I don't know, maybe um, a couple tablespoons, just a little handful. As long as you have clean hands, that's what matters. 
and just add that to each cup. But yeah, perfect for stockings and then on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a couple little runaways there. Perfect. Okay. And then obviously you're going to need to stir your hot chocolate, right? So these are our stir sticks. I always try to stick one over the side. I have more in the pantry. I'm going to grab some more. And then um, when we wrap them up, that'll be perfect as well. Okay. Does that look amazing? I just love this, this little project, the craft thing or whatever recipe. I'm going to call it a recipe. And then you just slide it into the bag. which today it doesn't want to slide as well. You know, it was funny. I don't think I said this, but when I, um, the first time I made this, it, you know, when you had to buy everything separate and then suddenly it all came together, it was like, that's a nice little saving. Okay. This one down there. Perfect. I'm going to tuck a few peppermints along the side, maybe. They just didn't make these extra, any extra size, did they? I am not going to tuck any along the side. And make sure I put the stir stick in. Seal it up. And we're going to add our little our little um, tag so everybody knows what the instructions are. What do you think guys? How adorable is that? Let me um, take a few minutes. I'm going to put the rest of these guys together and then we'll enjoy this when we're done. So now we have all these little pretty um, holiday gifts ready, and I just think that's phenomenal. But our day will not be complete, of course, unless we enjoy some hot chocolate, right? So let me show you how easy it is to make. We have our, our cup. I'm just gonna pour the hot chocolate in, hot chocolate mix, I should say. I'm gonna top it with some marshmallows. Of course, add my can my chocolates, a peppermint, and I just had this to boiling, so I know it's super hot. And I'm gonna pour it in. And I even have a stir stick. And that is hot, my friends. <laughs> I just think it's adorable. I mean, who wouldn't love that as a gift, right? I'm a big fan of hot chocolate anyway. The top is really hot. Perfect. Ooh, and I like the mint in there too. Isn't that wonderful? I thought you'd really like it. Make sure you join me tomorrow for day three. And I'm excited to share a new treat with you there too. Happy holidays, my friend. We'll see you soon. Oh, and before I forget, make sure you give me a follow. And if you hit notify, you'll be notified for the countdown for the next um, recipe that's going to drop tomorrow. Um, so make sure you, sure you hit follow and notify me. So check it out on the blog. The whole recipe's on the blog along with more tips and tricks. A ton of more um, holiday treats and things too. So make sure you stop on by. I'd sure appreciate it. Bullmeover.com. Of course, um, Facebook, my Facebook page, Pinterest, pin all these things and that way you'll have them for when you need them and when you want them. There we go. Okay. We'll see you soon. Bye.